Good afternoon. Hi Sora, congrats on getting first. Hello, hello. How are you? Is Twitter on PC down? I try to tweet something, but it's like it's not tweeting. Despite, I'm, I'm still tired from last night, considering I went to sleep at like um, 6 a.m. But I was like, I I want to keep playing Final Fantasy 16 before the end of this month or next month before my brother takes the game. And I'm like, I haven't finished the game, and then I won't be able to play because I have to like switch it between. My PS5 and his PS5. So I'm trying to get the game done as much as possible. Was building in Minecraft again? Now I'm break A. Hey, what were you building in Minecraft? What were you building? Villager trading hall was uh, for survival server. Oh, nice. How far into building are you for it? Like, I just had a bunch of, not really a bunch of coffee, but I had like um, a shot of coffee of this espresso. I'm not sure if that's gonna hit it hit anytime soon, but if I yawn. That's not my fault. All right, let's talk to Blackthorn. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Hell with it. It's for mid. Is this my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged? I'd spare myself the arse sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. <laughs> quite uh, quite a bit built to thirty percent. It's still Crazy funny. I gotta things. still manually hand it to him. I mean, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what the hell you'd want this uh, for? But not like we can it. read it at him. It won't be easy though, and I'll need help. Get Gavinotto in here, will you? All right. Satan Sense, hello. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Yankee Deska. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Nice. <laughs> Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And you're doing uh, good? Why are you doing what good? Is it we need to I do exactly. Take a look at this. It's gonna be a bunch of. It's this plate. The usual sword blade still won't work. 
We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That Another sushi, an like a or something. Buckle at the temperature she's talking about, which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand okay, I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs right. buying. There we go. We've got to them. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. <sighs> One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. I think I was trying to upload my VOD to YouTube yesterday. My The third part of the um, playthrough of this. I think I accidentally delete, permanently delete the the, record, the video and then I had to re-download it from Twitch and it took like 3 hours for it to be <laughs> it, had to, it took me 3 hours for it to download it from Twitch because I, I, was, cause I was selecting the old VODs to delete them so I know which one to, like, to upload next and then I think I accidentally selected the one that I was meant to upload and I was like, oh no, where's, where's the third part? So I was like, oh, I couldn't retrieve it because it was permanently, permanently deleted. So I had to download it from Twitch. Oh, God. Oh, do I already have the things? You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Well, you know, we've got to go with Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blacksall's supplier. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting them fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. So the stream deck that um, Replay got for me, it arrived. But the, the Elgato stream deck mini. I'm gonna have to YouTube it how to like do everything and everything. I need to YouTube how to use a stream deck and how to connect everything. And how like the buttons work and everything as well. Cause it would be great if I can just press the button and does the auto shout out thing so I don't have to like manually type it but I'm not sure how it does how it manually gives a shout out well I mean not manually but automatically give a shout out to different people so I'm gonna have to probably YouTube that and figure out how to do it Looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? Hey, Gav. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Wait, we can go down here? Oh, 
What you say, Stardust, is just sand. Stardust. It just looks like black sand to me. So we're collecting sand. Uh, more up this way. It was within the area, so it's either down more down that way, who knows? Oh it is down this way. And I need one more. Hi, bye, Rocky, Reiki. Thank now. you for the little lurk, Reiki. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Thanks for popping in and, and lurking. I hope you don't. You didn't hear my dog barking. Here is the stardust. I mean the sand, the black sand. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That might even be the enough. The fact that my dog keeps barking and because this yeah, girl doesn't yeah. have a filter, so Before it picks up go, that my dog barking but I'm not really talking and my boogie is just keep it just keeps moving. Oh damn, I took too long. To, to take a screenshot with two bros standing by a river. Like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right, that's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead, and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. 
Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to try the the big turtle again. What level am I? My level. Level 34. I should be able Good to take the, the um should be able to kill the the, the, the turtle. Good more. Coming through. Considering the turtle was like probably level 31 or something. Wait, do I need to be on the other side of that? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna travel to here instead. Let's go turtle. We're gonna attempt the turtle. If we die, we move on to the main story. Straight home now. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, blue turtle, let's go for it. I think I'm working in the middle of the night. Ay. That was good to sleep. Let's go through the rubble good night.
So far, I haven't started off with the wrong button yet. So far. Oh no, what the hell it is? Now that I hear you will, I'll- oh shoot. Quinton uses lightning attack, why are you spinning? What the fuck is happening? Have a good sleep. Ow. No, 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 don't you dare. Your turtle, stop throwing. I don't know what, whatever you're doing. What are you doing? Be a turtle. I at midnight about 10 minutes ago, it took like 5 hours. This turtle is annoying, why can't you be out? Why can't you be a normal turtle? I 
hope so. Everybody see shit popping it out. Oh my god, that was the most annoyingest hurdle ever. Oh my god, that turtle was a no-no. I'm glad that's even done with. It should have stayed in its shell. Now that's the time for some puns, Clive. Okay, we can go back. Broke that turtle. Turtle. Marks of Rail in the region. Hmm, okay. Let's do some bounty hunting for a bit. Just to make myself suffer. Okay, first thing first, maybe I should check what who what what is the newest area. I had coffee just then, like a shot or two of just straight espresso. I hope this is all Blackthorn needs. But I'm not sure if that's um, that's not it's not really helping me at the moment. It'll probably hit me later. You're seeing troops amassing at every point. So no surprises there. That sounds oh, so good right I now. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received we and everything token. promised? So we're getting get. Uh, Briar Clamshell, 800 ability points, and Desert Rose, okay? Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. Oh, hit you as soon as you sleep. Yeah, get down to sleep. It's like, ha, you're awake, you're staying awake. Mood hunt. Your reports have been received about a wild avian strike in size, making its nest atop of the hill adjacent to East Pool. S, S rank? A fallen giant? Giants are annoying to deal with though. Let's friend, let's go now. Nah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get myself plumbled into into like six foot down into the earth. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. B rank. Wyvern like. Atop the hill adjacent to East Pool. That's not thing. Well East Pool is here. Sometimes I wonder why my parents have their anniversary on the, my B day. Maybe you have your B day on, yeet them out of everywhere. Adjacent to where would that be? I will assume it's probably this one here. Celebrate your birthday on their anniversary. How about that? I didn't need to celebrate, but they forced me to go out with them. No, say no. Rest stay home. Yep. Wait, is this the way? This is not the way. <sighs> to be honest, anything beats like going out. It's like too much. Takes too much time. Too much effort. The only thing in what? What kind of dumb thing to do that is your birthday though? Who cares about the anniversary? Stay down. The in town? Spend the anniversary by themselves. You don't need to be there, or they did. Oh, yep. 
There you are, you flying piece of shit. You're an ugly thing. It's every year true. Through the anniversary, it's your birthday. The face looks like a goblin. It's only little they got. Oh stop, wrong button! There we have it guys, wrong button time. happening in that cyclo <laughs> I meant to use the potion. Ah, uh, Jesus Lord. Button told you now that I'm here will happen. God damn. I think you're the wrong button initiator. Like if you anytime you're here, I always press the wrong button somehow. It gets tiring, it, it does. It does get tiring. Like I don't want to celebrate my birthday every year. It's just saying I'm gonna I'm a year older, I'm gonna die, I'm closer to death. I claim. I am your wrong button charm. Yes, you are. Get it, boy. I'm so adorable. Where was the muddy water one at? Oh yeah, replay. Your the um the stream deck. The stream deck mini arrived. I have the stream deck mini. Aren't <laughs> you supposed to be asleep, with puppy? Hello, Mana! We should know replay by now. It's either he gets some sleep, wakes up in the middle of the night. Oh, look, winter is streaming. Let's, let's go watch. Hello, puppy. We happy? <laughs> <laughs> you know a puppy can be a puppy. <laughs> you know when I when I like think about bounty boards and stuff, I I didn't think I would like hunt this many and some by accident as well. 
Because I'm not usually like the type to go like hunt for bounty stuff. But look at this. I've hunted so many already. How you been winter? I've been doing good, Mana. How about you? How are you, Mana? Chapter uh, Riches of Rosaria, the pool of opalescence is a, a big ass slime, I assume. Sighted in the morals and meadows of the region. So somewhere in southern regions of Rosaria. Also, I'm normally don't do hunting games and for some reason I like doing this. Yeah, it's, it's challenging but it's fun after you you get like used to the patterns of the uh southern parts of Rosaria. Where would the fuck would that be? But yeah, after like some after you get used to the patterns of the things, the sounds fun to be they are. It's like learning um Dark Soul bosses. Like learning how to beat Dark Soul bosses. Hmm, where would you find a? Where would you find a muddy water? <laughs> Being sleepy, and wish I had more free time. Oh, hope. Why don't we have like more than twenty four hours like in a day? If not puppy, then I'm gonna call you Redine. <laughs> yeah, Redine. Redine, the tiny dino. So you'd rather be, you'd rather not be something, so you'd rather not be a dog, but something extinct. So you want to be an ancient extinct reptile. Okay. Where would Muddy Water be? Muddy Water. No, I'm not gonna be bothered trying to search where it is. What are you gonna say that way? <laughs> um, I mean, you want to be a part of being a um dinosaurs are already extinct, so you're saying you want to be an ancient extinct reptile, so. I'm not wrong, am I? Smaller than a puppy, no dino, we die. We die me. We die me. Um, let's see. Final. FF16 muddy water location. We bug it. We bug it. Wait, not muddy water. What, what are we looking for? Muddy... Muddy something. Well... What location? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Remu sounds good too. Remove the cow. Oh, Rufe is no longer a dog. He's a cow now. Muddy water or flan print. Um, North Hawks Cry Cliff and Rosari. What the fuck are these at? North Hawks Where? Is this over here? Somewhere over here? North Hawks Cry Seat Cliff Yes, I was serve it somewhere here And I was right here Mana out here calling me fat? Nah, you're not fat. You're just, you're just a chunky boy. Chunky boy. Okay, we're gonna, we need to find something. 
That's like a muddy water. Hey! Hey, tongue. It's a mochi. Ah, what the hell hit me? to work the new Adam Boy. Oh my god. Muddy water. So it's, it's gonna be somewhere here. Well, I don't really care about you. The winter in okay and we are adding it to the totem are we totaming hydration thank you for the hydrate and stretch and thank you for the head pots when winter drunk we call her winter oh my god no no Do you want the um the sushi to be on the um sushi? Would you like the winter sushi on totem or anywhere? Or would you like it to be a totem? Wine turn. No, it's not like I'm whining and I'm, I'm like just like a whining thingy like it. Weird. I don't remember who started, but it came from either mom or papa. So I made you shape you. I'm okay. Where to find muddy water? Would it be somewhere here? Totem. Okay, totem or totem of sushi. Be down here. Okay, so it's not down here. Time to scour the entire of Hawk's Cry Cliff. Lurk back to manga before sleep. Okay, have fun dying. I shall have fun dying. Have a good, uh, Good night reading manga and hope you have a good sleep too. <laughs> Can you make a blob just kind of gonna come out of nowhere? Blip blob. So 
go maybe around here? Okay, because there is, I don't see blob of anything here, so. We continue down until we see a blob of muddy water, I guess. I'm done. Not this way? Okay, I'll come back after this. Is it like in this area? Because I went down here, but it's not here. Unless it's somewhere else. Top right? Like over here somewhere? Over the hill. I passed the hill. What hill? There's so many hills. It's right on the roof, so it's jar. Hi, Shapey. Okay, look at the map, yeah. How's the game go, so I can't hear? Uh, just north of me. Here? Here? Like here? Towards there. But I was just there. There was nothing there unless I'm fucking blind. <sighs> I mean, well, at least I found a chest. It's not here. There's, not, there's no blob of muddy water here. Catfish on the top of the other. What do you mean, catfish on top of the other? I am not a cat. Waving your hands. So you take us unaware, did you? Something else, but oh my god, what the fuck? How dare you throw this around at me? Oh my, oh shit, oh, oh fuck. I didn't top up on uh, things, huh? 
<laughs> oh shit. Uh, potion. Water is cheating. You can't use every single element. Struggling. Ah, oh, there's my brother's home and it's gonna be all you can hear is probably screaming and shit. Stabbing hands are kind of tired. Die to you, you son of a gun. Oh, I don't know how that happened when I can't see what's going on. I beat something at like three levels higher than me. Holy shit. I can't do winter shift for alcohol after Friday night. No. How am I supposed to use for bait? Who's using it for bait? Milo wants the chick drink the chalice, not the what? The 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 cum chalice? <laughs> or you expect like father and daughter, right, bruh? 
Not to mention her mom is just like chaotic. I mean, we are a chaotic family. I mean, she'd be in Nomea. Is it have body bottle for let's wait into half the bottle egg more drinking more drinking windows not always Oh my god, I can't believe I actually beat this shit that's like three levels higher than me. That's dead now. Whatever it was. Damn, that was... Okay. Three thousand? Oh my god, only nine away? Oh, I'm only nine points away to upgrade it. Mon. Why you do this to me? How could this happen to me? I made my mistake. Upgrade flares are it is upgraded. It's already upgraded. Where's my flavor rebirth? It's already upgraded. You were there when I, up I upgraded replay! <laughs> Have you forgotten already? You forgot already. Just, just, just. Listen to what I'm saying. No, you're not. You are not stupid. I am. No, me. No, me. I am, not you. Alright, Karen, I need more of my thing. Is it business? Or pleasure? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Okay, do I have the things that's to be traded for Gil? Out here. One dark blood. I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. I reckon I can find a buyer. Come again. Another oh, winter. Don't. Oh my god. I'm not much bothered either way. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so many this year rolls here. You know what this looks like? It looks like those um some some uh dolls. Like the Disney dolls, uh, toys, plushies. That you can just stack them up. Go sleep now, bye bye. Have fun drinking. I'm drinking tea. But have a good night's sleep, mana. Good night. Okay, all that's left is probably the S rank bounty. Got everything you need. Do I want to attempt that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together, my I have life. lemon tea. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing I down my neck. Layer. <coughs> oh, <coughs> on. oh, that's oh, a um, Paimon thing that he says. From Genshin, in Genshin Impact, it's one of the things uh, she says when if you play it in the Japanese voiceover. I just sold Goblin Queen. I just sold. I just sold all these three. God damn. So it's I say the Hitman Leo in like a very high voice attempt. 
I'll do it after this. <laughs> Emergency food? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she says, eh, 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 Literally. <laughs> Dive. Use the forage. I'm saying for you, dear. Mm. Oh, we can, we can upgrade this. Oh, yeah. No scratches, right? Wow, wow, wow. Alright, sorry for broken in. Wink wonk, oh my god. I assume the English version. Mana, what happened to go sleeping? <laughs> bye bye, Mana, good night. Oh. I assume it's with the English version replay. Yeah, but y'all just want to see the, 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 the day burn, huh? Yeah, I just want to see things burn. Lost you a good while. You can thank me later. English words, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> let's see. Welcome home, darling. Would you like dinner? Would you like a bath? Or would you like me? Sorry, I, I, I'm still trying to think of what I can like. Kind of get. I tried to think okay. of a these nuts, but I couldn't because my brain no work, but no brain cells. Kind of attempt. Yeah, I couldn't just bait you. Yeah, my brain cells aren't working, so yeah. You're lucky this time, replay. You're lucky you didn't get your bait this time. The luck is in, it's in like, it's evening. It's only 6 p.m. My brain's not working just yet. We're seeing troops and masses. <laughs> DJ Azuri, thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders. Hello, hello. Hirotaku raid, welcome in. DJ. Come on, replay. You gotta do your job. <laughs> Welcome, welcome in. Welcome everybody. My name is Winter Solaria. I play a lot of variety games, slowly branching out into... Slowly branching out to like, semi-horror. Oh, good, that's a jar. That's true, Sora. Oh my god. Uh, Nick, Nico, hello, Nico. Hello, hello, welcome in. How are you? How are you all? I'm currently playing um, also Final Fantasy 16. But how was how was uh, Final Fantasy sixteen uh, Azura? I'm alive. Yes, you are indeed alive. I'm attempting hunting for the time being. Jar, yeah, I could have I could have done a wink wonk, but with jar. God damn. What you say? I attempt rank six. I mean rank S. Hmm. No jar. Always the jar. But how was stream? How was stream? How did sixteen go? 65% uh, of the way through and have more side quests to do. Side quests is with the goat. You do side quests more than you do main story in the hunt. Okay, I want, I'm gonna attempt S, 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 S rank and probably get my ass kicked, but let's see where it is. So there's a giant in the Rosarian ruins. Somewhere. But yeah, I'm I'm also slowly getting towards it. I am. Where am I in the story? Well, I'm at this um this part of the story out of the shadow. 
after defeating uh, Kupka, I'm just doing some side quests. Well, not really side quests, but the side stuff. And then now we're doing some uh, hunts. But yeah, I've played a lot of JRPG games. I'm very open to a lot of games. As long as it's not too scary, I'm open to a few horror games. So apparently it, it is south of Mont Broom, south is of Care Nor Norvernic something gate. So somewhere here. Somewhere over here. There are so many cycles, but it makes you get so many more hours in the game, right? Now I'm gonna assume it's some where south Southeast of Norman. Oh, we can't go here yet. God. Okay. We can't do um the S rank one yet if we can't access here. If we can't access here, we can't ac access the the hunt. That means we have to do fight the main story first. Well, no S rank just yet. No S rank for the time being. Alright, story time. I'm not sure where or how far I am into the game. You did it at this point. But 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 I can't access the oops. You can? You did it at this point? You did? Wait, how would I get to there if I can't access the, the area? Because I'm looking at the location thing on Google. It says south of Mont Broom, southeast of Cairn Novent, Glory, whatever gate. Wait, month or the morn? I assume it's here. <laughs> Somewhere south Rosaria thing or southern Rosaria, I think. They didn't give you hands you can't access. We're seeing troops in mass everywhere. Oh. Rosari ruins, okay. Is full of kidoki. Okay, so like here. But wasn't that where? Wasn't that where? Lower? Oh, wait. Okay. I got you. It's okay. But you can you can be my brain, so for, to, for today, replay. <laughs> the left? Here? Alright, oh, here? Then okie dokie. Who needs maps when you have chat? 
Fly Ambrosia. They're in the way, please. I'm going the correct way. I'm not lost at all. So, what are the chances of being at higher than I am? I'll do, girl. Can't go through here. I hope I hope it's not like level I don't know forty or something. Over my level, well, uh, yeah, I guess so because level it's a S rank. Come on, Clive, run, Clive. Are we gonna fight a literal giant? Oh. Oh, it's that. I don't like that. Atlas. Okay, time to get my ass kicked, I guess. Why the 10 levels above my level? Oh, I can't take a while.
turn. Oh my god. <laughs> so I feel bad. Uh, Maximilian did lost his heart in front of devs. I don't know who that is, but okay. I mean... Uh, a famous action fighting game streamer? Oh, okay. Was a guest at the marketing event? Oh, okay, okay. To be honest, for someone, for some, for me being 10 levels under and I got up to like 3 quarters of its health, I did pretty okay, except half the time I'm spamming things. Okay, I come to you when I'm like level 50, you stupid giant. Oh, top there, damn. Okay, report back to mid. Let's go this way. What? Have my items again? There's a full hell yeah. Except for my elixir. Maybe I can top up my elixir. Did a good job, thank you. Thank you, thank you. To be honest, my timing of Don't using like uh, the elixirs or like these potion stuff at wrong timing is probably my fault. You're yeah, not why not use it when it's about to hit me or something? <laughs> Do you know how you have the grey out hell something? Like, yeah. There was blue blood heals with that HP wing is oh okay. So I just gotta stop babbing there was blue when I Did feel like started it. reading books that don't have any pictures in. Why would anyone want to do that? Okay, okay. Okay, mid. I think we've done stuff for you already. What else do you have for us? Don't come up with something soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. 
salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Yes, that was very best when there are a lot of ads. I'm sorry. Or when I have a lot of great out so help. Happens, there's one particular ruin that's oh, broken okay. into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I just need to details. stop accidentally using it. You know, wrong button. What's the name? Right. Oh, Sid, is this about the health? Wrong button, let's go. Yeah. Yes. Especially wrong button you. on full health. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce uh, rootiness. So, total of wrong button today. Excess How many wrong buttons did I hit today? Two? The thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Did I hit it two times today? Now, Two so far, so that's to nine in total. Now, thermal plating alone, to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Nums or the kids she's No, I am ah, not yes. edible. It's in Lorbert's I am not class, to be Lost eaten. Wing. The thing is, well, you shall I not eat me. probably oh, should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Hmm. Oh, very much. I guess I'll see Thank the guy you, the I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Hey, yo. Burp? What do you mean, burp? How dare you eat me? But, but sushi, you can have real sushi, but I am not sushi. This is my my outfit. <laughs> my 2.0 outfit, I'm a sushi. <laughs> Wait, why am I on fire? Yeah, why am I why am I on fire? Because I'm hot. Bum bum beat'em. Last wing. It's been a while since we went back into last wing. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. This Clive is on fire because he hot. I'm like, where do I need to go? Oh, go down there. Come on, Clive, run faster. Come on, come on. I'm sure you can run faster than this inside in a town. Come on, bro. Run faster. Ready, go. Let's go.
Good morning. I don't have time to deal with the likes of you. Thanks, girl. Parkour. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The uh ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about. I'd imagine. Would you uh, would you mind? Yeah. Of course. What are we fighting? I'll be right back. I'm just so glad there's no behemoth in this game. I do not. I would never want to fight a behemoth. I hate that shit so much. Hey, I was gonna grab that thing on the ground, you know. I see it, chess. Anybody home? Knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, no. wait. Are you saying there's a behemoth? Is that what you're saying? Don't um me. No, Is that never. Wait, what no. Are you telling me there's a behemoth in here? Jesus, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 no! I didn't mean to run. Oh, for fuck's sake! I was about to press triangle. <sighs> Just the life of the square. Actually, pressing the square. I jumped right to that one. Hey man, stop that. Too slow. Nice try. Click the button on your trigger to automatically add the counter. Hey, you have to learn how to do that first, though. Ow. I have to set one for my walking death playthrough where every time I died, I push the button to add to the death counts. Okay, I can probably figure, figure out how to do it. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. There's a lot of tricks you can do with them. I want to do the, the auto shout out thing as well. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I'm not sure how that would work, though. Eye of the warrior. I could probably add like random, probably two or three sound effects. I want the beeping one. <laughs> the bleep when you like try to swear. There was a chest over here somewhere. Or was I seeing wrong? Oh, did I already open it? Is it already open? Never mind. Keep me to add sound effects by forgetting. Great. Hey, we can upgrade this. Let's fucking go. 
What happened? Yeah, redeem time as a dick button and if it's if it's if it's if it's X to let me know time as a How tall can we go until the gap is probably I mean that's probably You can probably go like another one more I guess. I mean tiny I guess but not really because winter isn't In the jar you go. You know what? I don't regret drawing you in the jar at a uh, art, 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 little art store thing, pop-up thing that I went yesterday. I don't regret drawing that. Ha! <laughs> you bully! You bully me with height! You have no right to say that with this master. Let's say I don't need to master it. I didn't believe you had offer a piggyback so you better need to be super tall. Hey! Hi! That's the bully. You're calling me short. You know, imagine the devs gave us a lot of power and we can equip like nine, all nine iconic, all, I, all nine icons. And imagine just toggling through like nine of the different abilities you have <laughs> we were like oh no not this one oh no this, this one and you go up to like a full three uh, like a real full circle just to go to the one that you need but then yeah we've, we've been too op so i guess we're stuck with three and trying to like find which one you like the most i didn't think i'll ever change out of the like these three these four, I guess. The only thing I'll probably change out is probably these ones. But but then the power jar is pretty good too. But we'll have to see with what the um other attributes, not attributes, other icons that we get, and what their ability are. Okay, let's go back. Back to the hideaway. I use Phoenix for the entire get a dash is so good. Which one? I think once I'm not sure because for the what's it called the grapple the grappling this as much as it, it's fun to grapple them towards the uh, cyclone I don't use that much though. And who needs shield? Not gonna lie, this is this is the equivalent of Titan Super God though. To be honest, I can just like um Oh 
Oh wait, so if I master something, right, I can just put it here instead, or... I could probably just master the cyclone. And then put it on together with, um, with either... The lightning? Together the lightning, and just, I don't know, switch out something. But we'll see. We'll see, once I get the other elements. How may I help you today, Clive? Yay, my token. To claim your just desserts. Here you are. All done. You can actually do that. Yeah, just put all the good, good final, final boss moments, final, final moves into one whole slot. Another winter, Jesus Lord! You make a whole totem. A whole totem fits. Well, that's all they can. Oh my god, it's Lir Lyria, so she took the stack. I am the stack. To be honest, it's kind of oddly satisfying to see because you can't really see the egg until like, you see the very, very top tiny, tiny mini stack. The tiny, the, sh the last winter stack you'll see. I think Mid might need some help tidying up. If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Linwin stack. No, uh, not Linwin. I'm not Linwin here. Helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? I am not Rudo. Mind stop you. The going pop, but those things will still Man. be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. The tomes, do Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well... I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Hmm. I'll probably have like one button for like the, the social um, command. I'm gonna have to look up onto YouTube on how to do the, the button for shout out command because you can't I'm not sure how it works but where to find answers is youtube all the all of the tutorials you can find on it's everything's on youtube when it comes to boyish i didn't want to talk to you shut up dun, dun, dun. So basically, Stream Deck is just programmable map. Oh, wrong way! So if it's something OBS and Twitch let us macro, it can be done on Stream Deck. Okay. Well, if anything, I can just YouTube tutorials it. Watch it, like, watch 10 different videos and be like, hmm, I don't understand this. Some people actually use them as an in in-game buttons in PC games. What the fuck? That's on a whole nother level. I can barely remember how, what my toggles are from when I have had a camera, a webcam for my model. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you All right, I need to go back to cam webcam hunting. For this time. Could you take a look at this? Of course, we gotta manually give it to them. I really want the beeping out um, 
as a uh, sound alert thing, so I can say when when time to be like. Whatever will that girl think of? Swear it's like beep 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 beep. What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the material. As a map button or menu button. Oh, that's cool. Needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find. Wait, are we trying to build a ship? Like a, like a boat? I see. I forgot about what we're trying to build. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. We're trying to build the fastest ship in the list here? Oh, okay. Over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of pitch, I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as moon dew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate I feel like tonight it, is going to be another very, very be long stream. To some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. And also the strongest so that can be an obelisk might be of assistance. Emergency escape is going to be back with the highway. What okay. wisdom they might have to offer. Okay. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. Yeah, of Lover, course. I'm gonna grab Jill. We're gonna go on a date. Prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clyde. We're gonna, own, we're gonna go on a date with Jill. Let's go. I miss Jill. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious. So, Clive, who will accompany Jill, let's go. Let's go on a date. Very well. Let's go on a date. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited, effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. Of course, we're gonna go on a date, Taja. It's a date. We're going on a date. How to make Clive go on a date with Jill. You, you, you put them together. On a mission. I'm big braining. I'm big braining, but we're also third willing. Kiss the cloud, you fool! Where's Jill? 
So if Jack and Jill went up the hill, Clive and Jill went up the hill, the picture fell water. Nice Clive fell down. <laughs> something, something, something. I don't remember the nursery rhyme. Can have a tap. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up? Third rule life. Hell, yeah, like, yeah, like me when each. every time I'm collabing with Sheepy and the mayor. <laughs> How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? Garlic? Find the other things you need. You for we garlic. We meet by the gate when we're finished. Well, so to be honest, I have been a third world in my whole 300 years of life. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the morning. Fresh cuts. Come and get them before we go. We haven't much, but you're free to look. I trust it's all here. Ah, yes. I believe we had some trading in. There we go. Here's what we agreed on. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Keep fighting the good fight. Just go apart and be like, okay, you, you stuck with me, so I'm not third wheel. Make it a Clive body pillow. Oh my god. You, you know what I should do? I just have a, an asset commission and it's just like a Clive body pillow. <laughs> How the hell is anyone supposed to... What do you want? What do you want? Your life. I mean, your money. Go on. Take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Do you see anything you like? Wait, you I need me to get me a Jill body pillow as a sub not second wheel. <laughs> no, no, no. We we get a Clive body as as it, and it's like Jill, just third wheeling me. Get out of here. <laughs> did you find everything? I did. Now make yeah. Clive the third wheeler. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Of course we can. Anything for you, Joe. Anything for you. on a day thank you for asking me to help you today it makes a nice change it does it's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once just being here yes Jill anything for you indeed me of all your children do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith taking in the sights and smells <laughs> how could I forget what with Torgal's antics Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. He wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? I miss baby Torgo. Yes. I miss That's puppy awesome. Torgo. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Oh, I want some good pies. you might like to share one with me. I would. I want some pie. Thank you. Give me some pie. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, you have every right to enjoy this. No, Jill. No kiss! This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. 
hope so. Thank you, Clive. If they cute together, my heart, right? And they're just making us, the players, frustrated. Hold her hand, grab her, turn around, hug her. Get the. Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Wait, why are we walking home together? Why are we, why are we letting her go first? Hey! God damn it, Clive. How to get the sun out of your eyes. There we go. Use Clive as the sun blocker. There we go. After it. I'm trying to pet you, boy. Why are you? I'm trying to pet you. <laughs> What a beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. I love how many pet um, animations there are. I've never gotten the same one twice in a row, right? There's so many different like oh, yeah, animation is getting the moon to you. Mm -hmm. oh, her ship lies still in harbor, her soul sails on the main. The breath of ages at her back, adventure in her veins. Thanks to Sid. Thank you, Clive. We got you the edible things. Got the egg and the nuts. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. I like being with you too. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Test complete. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. 
It ain't even going go up if that much. Have a question for me, it literally went up one centimeter of um, XP. I went up to give some breeze to the top of I guess the chocolate preferred meat with some greens that time. Wait, wrong way. It was not wrong button, it's it wrong way. Books that don't have any pictures in. Whee. 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 All right, mid, we're done. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! I want some action, not shipbuilding. You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Didgeridoo dars! Oh my god, I'm gonna use that word for that one. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. It's fast. The ship's been made and ready. Well, kinda. It's finished. It's finally finished. Oh, it's finished. It doesn't look finished to me. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. About what? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. I like how they all panicked that they That's have to do this more be. than three times. You see, three more one times. last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but 
where we can actually I looked at it, I'm live. like, surely the, the ship shouldn't be that small, right? That. It's gonna be bigger, right? I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, Wait, those are your dead. little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. A long bit tiny. Mid told me she was building a ship. But really, that's a ship? I'm just like, that's a one person ship if that was a ship. Clive, Astrid, Mid finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? That was just Not a smokestack, basically. Oh, a chimney. Okay. The final okay. things she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that, in those words. She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. But Clive, you fool. Mid be like girl bossing gaslighting. <laughs> Gatekeep. More side quest, yar. And it's back from the dude that's all the way down at the bottom. I like how I started off the stream with just. Um, bounty hunting. I went up to get and I got my ass kicked. <laughs> and now we're shipbuilding, and then we went from shipbuilding to more sides. Honestly, the shipbuilding, sure, it's it's fun and all, but am I going the wrong? Oopsie, I went. To I went past the area, I was too busy talking. Um Yeah. Maybe I should put a fucking marker here. Went straight past the area I was supposed to go. Lovely. As much as I like, like you know, side quests and stuff, but I prefer more for main stories. If you remind him, let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution, you want split in, and it will separate it out just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. 
Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Ty, if it gets some use out of this I mean, doing side quests give you a little extra HP, like. so there's right. nothing wrong with that. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you would have mind... Bomb hunting, I see. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. Dirty balls of flame? Flaming balls? Alright. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Bottles. No worries, Owen. I'll grab you some bottles, some fiery balls. Keep pressing the wrong button. Go there, and then we're gonna go to there. When it comes to boyish charm, Goops has an indomitable. Okay. Muggles. Five balls of the STDs, bruh. B. Okay. Uh, let's see. If then, um, where is this at though? A wrong turn into a nearby wood. Ruins of a fallen airship and within there a base akin to a crate for a fire. Where would this be? Told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tom's helped? He cracked the crystal too. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto? Wait, you can get ciphers from from um the letters as well. Damn, okay. That's cool. What could be wrong with Togor? 
He seemed well enough when I last saw him. When was even the bone to pick? Thorn. A pen is mightier. Hey. That's a lot of side quests. Nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn That's just in case. That's a lot of side quests. Okay, I'm all for this. I'm all for this. More side quests. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. Right? So many side quests. Where the fuck do I go? Blackthorn. A bone to pick. What about Torugo, huh? What's wrong with my boy? I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torugo? So you can read. Congratulations. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some it weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Is like it. why it took so long to win the game? Ah, uh, okay. That his man's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is it because we're giving you treats every now and then? Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Ah, <laughs> look. Oh, what was it he said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosalith. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Okay, Tom's dude, do you know anything? What's wrong with Torgo? What's wrong with Doug? With my wolf. Wolf dog. Can't this door stay open forever? I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I like how of all quests I, I went with I went with, right. with Torgor. Oh, not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different. Oh, wait, shall we go hunt a dragon then? <laughs> As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. I mean, dragon, the no antelope. The antelope Dang. sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place Dang. to start. Can't feed my dog, my wolf dragon. dog, dragon bone. <sighs> I want to feed my dog some dragon bone. Oh, I think a behemoth. So you're saying, so you're confirming there is a behemoth in this game. The very mo the very beast I dislike the most when in every... Do I have to talk to him before I can like fast travel anywhere? Oh, no, at least it's not hunting one. Ah. No, so there was one in game. Well, but the way you typed it implied, like, as if there was. Welcome home, Sid. <laughs> Didn't know you had that.
Okay, so I gotta talk to the dude. Oh, okay. Maybe there's a people. God damn it, replay. In the jar you go. You know, at this point, the jar is gonna be your ha your home. <laughs> the oh, sorry. Have you seen Mid? <laughs> yep. In a boat. Going that way. Which way? And I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Dear, oh, my dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going on in the free cities, by which I learned of the en endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telamon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian's authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards. No matter how deserted, and if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guild masters are rapping at our doors. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man, Gav, for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean to might mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impeding attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration, your loving uncle, Baron. Byron. Put the jar on board of this? Oh, Good idea. I'll need someone to keep it on Oh, better yet, put it to a spaceship, need it to the space. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next <laughs> time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure I'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Ah, the old hideaway. Sid's legacy. Sid, I remember what you told me.
told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. Group of five hours on your ship, May I join you? Oh. oh. There, there, replay. There, there. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. Torgo also turns around. A scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on, and soon there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> great what? lump. Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Wait, you're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Carry me like Stop I. that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad market. <laughs> Funny, I it's managed by the merchants. Just show them Goots's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It will be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. I can't That's take this. Sure. I can't I take Karen seriously when <laughs> when the, 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 la the laughter behind her. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get off, me poor fingers. <laughs> Poor oh, Karen. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Another winter in? Oh my god, where the fuck is it gonna go? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Where you want to be? Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw. To infinity and beyond. In other words. 
You only see half of the sushi. <laughs> oh god. We didn't tell like that. Oh. Oh, so it's. So we still can't do the side quest yet, but okay. No side quest, just the yeti. area onward to infinity and beyond how are you feeling better thanks to Taya I'm glad to hear it and Torg will help too Boy. You're a sussy area. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Wait, this look? Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Oh, we're in the desert. Oh, look, the area where we fought uh, the giant. Very close to the cooker. Our friends. We don't, we don't, we don't. Run, Clive. Run like the wind. Meaty, my deep. Wait, why is it called leg eater? Why would you eat? Oh, that was okay. So that was like an extra kind of thing, huh? Why would you eat legs? Okay, disgusting. But not that way. This way. Oh, is there a side quest here? That Titan fight was insane. I'm something for licking to myself. So what do you think? Uh, we'd be lucky. Really? It's as bad okay. as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for the us. The replay is a leg eater. Okay, okay. The road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. This is sucker fuck. Been with really? A it looks up. Carts. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. But he sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My You're brother's the thieves, right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. How would you know? We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Sure, anything for the well, HP? Well, I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. 
We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Yeah, that means we do that and then you go steal the cart. Steal everything. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. Well, well. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. And if you ever want to see them, give me thunder! <laughs> That's them dealt with. Oh, where's that cart? There was no cart to begin with, most likely. out of here will be a nightmare seems we found ourselves the right man for the job wouldn't you say found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing our merchant friend will be delighted and how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here you leave that to us after all it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market well you've done your part and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Oh, I love how maybe we can just like yeet them into the air. Are we really leaving? You 
You've had your reward and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. That was anticlimactic. But okay. Goodbye, fellas. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. God damn it, Razor, you're back with the pond again, huh? That just blows me away every time. Pretty shocking. Pretty lit. Oh, but I didn't use any fire. Never mind, it's not lit. It's unlit. When I when am I not on back on puns? Good point. Good point. You always catch a wind of me dropping puns. God damn it, replay. God damn. When you in the jar. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. We want to hear it if you're in a in a, in a jar and we'll close the lid. <gasps> that is beautiful. Hold up. Hold the fuck. Y'all, that is pretty. So this is a mechas. Thank you for the high sight and add another it's more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago. And thank you for the sweat. was overcome by avarice. And challenged the gods in a bit to win their power. The final battle took place here. At these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages yes, to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the Yo, story, I always so assumed it must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. 
Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Sure, it's a nothing. How oh, sure? <gasps> it's raining. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. Dean deserves so much better. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. What could a child do? How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. The end is served much better. Oh gosh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. I'm pretty sure Dion can just show his claws at them. Father. What can it do against a fucking dragon? <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Oh, this bitch. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You're the insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? I hope we kill Annabella. I hate Does her. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have
have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Can we snap this bitch? Can we? I hate her so much. Anyways. The Boclap markets. Why did we have to end on seeing Annabelle space? Ugh, what a way to ruin my day. By night. I have not saved in a hot minute. Yeah, I hate her so much. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything Hell in his power to hold what on to work? inside. His troops are well trained and will not be seen with that far. This They've closed the road to Randalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital.
god this area is so pretty look at that waterfall deep deep so pretty yeah really pretty what are you it's over So I jump in water, just wanna dive in and leap in it like a leap of face like Assassin's Creed. There is no wildlife here. We're here for to fuel my EXP. There's people walking al along the uh, along the uh, sidewalk, and you see up to the side, someone's just like hacking, slashing these animals. You're like, what's that person doing, Ma? Why are they Why are they killing these these beasts? Road, yeah, road. <laughs> Calling that move where Clive punches with his piss fiery fist as Falcon punch. Falcon punch. Yeah, but the Clive punch doesn't really sit well with the thing, so Falcon punch. Clive Port. Man, I have no. Why are you gonna make the waterfall so big and the horizon and stuff so pretty? There are no crystals here. We have oh, to keep sleeping. going. The crystalline dominion is our only chance. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. I absolutely love the screen I took on the waterfall, just so pretty to see. Yeah, I saw, I, I switched, I looked over and I saw him like, it, it is very, very pretty. Hurry, man. I must leave. <sighs> Bloody crews and caravans scooping up all the best customers. Leave some for the rest of us. Oh, 
actually just right next to each other? Damn. Dang it. Can't park all over there. Oh no. Waypoint. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Hello. <laughs> I'm cheap. Think sell yourself that low. Well met. Thank you. You're sure you don't need it? Just what I was looking for. I'm cheap too, that's a move. I can be paid for it in snack. I, no use for a brand I thought I could be paid for it in, in coffee. What snack? Coffee? Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in a... bread? Give me some bread. How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. I can't believe it. If I'm paying for coffee, it was a picture. <laughs> it's an easy replay. Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a formal line and ready their documents for inspection. Easy get picky. I understand that. They're checking everyone. Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's steal it. Let's go and find good, shall we? Just rough somebody up and steal the pass. Eat them into the ocean as well, I guess. They must be around here somewhere. All right, time to find our giant bear. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. It's like I'm picky until someone checks all the boxes and I'm like and I'm easy for them but still picky for others if that makes sense. Uh, I'm sure my brain will eventually work away that around those I, words and be like, yeah, I'm makes so sense. sorry, don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, pass. It's gone. Oh no, someone stole it. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago, but then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah, you don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory Time to pockets. rightfully steal so our pass back. To get back. the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. 
I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. Right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. Peaches and pears. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait, wait. Just don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots. Oh, she's pretty. What are you doing back in Boklad? Oh, okay. I'm gonna strip for her. I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Okay, she pretty. She pretty. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Um, it's me trader's pass. It's me trader pass. It's it got key. stolen. By a little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure Morhul is larger than him. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little ban could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market. Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. Or just climb the cliffs and skedaddle over. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive.
The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Oh, we can like do the um, other stuff now. Side quest, let's do a little get sidetracked a bit and do some side quests and get them out of the way. Going the right way, I'm going the right way. I bet all oh this is gonna be about two hours of bird questing. Yeah, you know. When is it never two, um, almost two to three hours of just side quest? flying things that my ADD brain making me feel composed to do all the side quests hello sir minotaur Yoink! Cyclone for God knows when. You're gonna die by Cyclone, we will find it in this. I'm back into the Cyclone. Oh, 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 Cycling lasted just a bit longer, he would have died, didn't it? Well, it's certainly quiet. If I were a giant antelope, it would seem like just the place. A giant antelope? How giant would it be? Not that big. I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Toggle? No! Oh! Marusia! <laughs> Have roasted antelope. Hunting and cooking at the same time, efficiency, right? No. We would find if another extremely big when it comes out like I am the one you were actually Enough, looking I for wonder. 
Looks like a normal bone to me. I say that answers my question. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? Very. A very big puppy. Wow, only one bone out of how many we hunted? <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Torgal. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you got your appetite back. Come on, boy. Get it, boy! Where was the bomb king again? Hey, would the bomb king be? Bum, 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 bum. Where would you be? Are they gonna be here or here? I think. I think. Me think. Mayhaps not here. Will it be here or am I thinking somewhere incorrectly? I don't know. Oh, you're freaky. What the fuck? Okay, I was correct. It was here. We found the bomb king. Now, if only we had water. Look what we have 
here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ow. What the heck it is going on over there? It's over. That was annoying. What the sun and over? Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. This looks like the stuff. Let's see if there's any more. That should do it. Kawhi needs more than this. Noticed you and Togal had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> you could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? Well, teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. I'm right. surprised right. Carrot is like, I need to buy some of goats. Now we know what you're after. I can see like, nah, but well, we left them in, in the Speaking desert. Which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? I wonder where we're keeping these bones. You can, right? I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. Thank you, Clive. No 
nobleman who visited. Thanks for the high grade. And why bully? And why the wind walk? Why the wind walk? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the yeah, way. I'll do it after this. For your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow... I was work shaky. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain <sighs> questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature. Get off your phone if you're driving home. Drive safely. You're suggesting that Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Yeah, not texting and driving. Consider that in addition just, just, to Lady just. Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you. Oh, yeah, can we? Oh, you trained them. Eat short, them to, to the, the space. Icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor? have been diverse and plenty and that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your so fine that's still no I no i do no. as to how all of this has affected Torgal. he has seemed more fierce of late and if i'm not mistaken he will grow fiercer still we are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries <laughs> oh He's more than an ally. He's a friend. Okie dokie. Welcome home, darling. Would you like dinner? Would you like a bath? Or perhaps... Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Never gonna let you down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> jabated then this time it's shaby that's get jabated <laughs> oh, is God. there something i might assist you with clive i have a few i was thinking about a jar and then the jar could be for you only <laughs> This, I believe you will find most interesting. <laughs> what jar. subject shall we consider today? I. Never gonna give you it. I'm gonna let you down. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. We kill. We in, and we. Drink all the blood of the enemies. Yeah, That's why I get the energy. She was building from. a ship. Clive, did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. Shh. Otto won't be listening. <sighs> Is this better? ASMR. A little. Listen, I have some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time. And you need the money. I need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. There you are. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. Noble dig you out of the hole you dug for yourself. Clive, 
the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, I, I must have made some sort of oversight. <sighs> A lot of gil that we don't have. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the king's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Oh, you know, so, we just go ransack somebody else. We need to learn to stand deal. on our own if we're going to make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How do you fancy taking also these to Also, we use these not home, but Rocks. I'll have a fox meat for dinner, please. Rocks. No, no, you have sense. a, you have a never gonna give you a, a never gonna let you down. down. Something Sidney Cheer up song. <laughs> when times got lean. Winter's first plan to repay the debt is to rob people. Yeah, rob the bank. Qualifies. Rob people. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. I am not food. Should be me making the rounds, really. I will you know, not. I, I only remember place, those two lines, Sheepy. Asses to wife and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. I am not food. Foxes are not food. Go. You know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? I'm not. This is Clive. my clothes. Rather, Lady Karen. Killed I just wanted to see the world burn. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. After this. Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. You want me to I see don't. me burn, bro? <clears throat> Ara ara motherfucker. There we go. You got you got you got the ara ara. Ara ara. Where am I going? You're welcome. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. Gonna head back you to my room, guys. What the Let fuck? You're home already? Otherwise. Right then. Let's get this control. We're getting a traffic light running. Did you speed home? Two hours until we're under one o'clock in today. Uh, you, you'll survive. The Telemon Alembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. This place to home when I was at the Very window. Okay. okay. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? 
We happen to have isolated a substance in our test. You so I don't know about that chip if we're going to sleep. Look, you down a whole liter. Supple oh, okay. as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. But I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. I a nap after the stream earlier, and then two hours before I woke up and started watching this one. True, true. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more flexible. Right. What are we looking at? What are we feeling? Thank you. We're feeling feels? I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your back. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Really, I swear to God, dude, save your money. Don't want me. I got an email saying you want me the strawberry crisp. I'm throwing, dude. Thank God, I haven't put the thing on. I think I'll buy my own camera. I feel like if I put my camera up there, you're gonna buy it. Inventory increase. Imagine me minding my own business and then starting a business called. Imagine me just looking at my phone thinking I've got a message from my my bro or something and it is like email you have received a new gift and yes you're all planning god damn i guess i'll purchase it myself I'll, I'll look for the cheapest one and i'll be like oh you're good for myself retreat to person satchel six four three two, one. no that can hold six and fours for the throne no i would not put it on throne Never. Why not? Because I said so. Well, don't say so. Easy. <laughs> they told me she was building a ship. I haven't upgraded Aerial Blast. Jeez, I well, now it's now now it is. Oh, 
Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Ah, no, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to probably go grab dinner. And I'll probably, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Oh shit, wrong one. Here right Be right back. Yep, good eat.
I am back. With soup. Back with soup. You're looking well, Karen. Thank you for bringing me soup now. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I, I guess it's soup in one scoop of rice, like to be honest. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. And I also have nice a, a can of coffee with me as you well. Me bought it. Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? You can stop me on me. You're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord, it's like a nice look, to be honest. Don't make him bloke. It's Black nice one for um. Like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Nice when it's hot Reckon he'll for still winter. be in in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, and he's... Just if you it, nah, I'm good. If you take me meaning. I appreciate yeah, the warning. Me. Sleep is for the week. I cannot dog you too much about sleep, right? Coming from you who doesn't sleep as well, when insomnia just like, just fucks you up like, okay, you wanna go sleep? How about no? What are you after? What am I after? Your heart, no, I'm joking. I don't want much your heart. Obliged. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Take care out there, eh? Maybe you sleep after work today? Yes, yeah, sleep. Sleep after work. Then I wake up super early, cycle continues, yeah. It's always that cycle that fucks you up. Clive, we weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here. But it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. A star, really? I can't accept this. Worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you, can if you have a good right nap. Five. Think of the difference is interest. What is a stack? Um, if a stack of what? Sora and Retro no and Mana replay wanted. Anyway, why are you the one here asking about this? Uh, uh. I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Why are being blamed? Who, like who knows? Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway is still standing. <laughs> Look, if mud bullies streamers, streamer bully it. mud. Isn't that why it is? It's the give and take. The twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander. Word is, he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head... <laughs> it's a valid argument if, if you think about it. <laughs> Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. But Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. That, and you keep good company. <laughs> I suppose I do. It didn't redeem any year, I still have to share the blame. Yeah, I mean, you're like, turn it on. 
you were the one who suggested the totem. So technically, it's still kind of your fault. Now for A, how much way of am I through the game? Um, if anything, I've done a lot of side quests. <laughs> if anything, I did some hunts and side quests. That's about it. Over the same pace that I did before. Hey. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Kara's collector. Gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. Welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. One of our wealthy patrons has purchased the use of every room open to. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave Are you me, disturbing please. everybody else? Please. Ignac, Ignac, that's all I was thinking as well. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oak this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I, I am outside. You need to step outside. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. A coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. Whoa, it's been one year and 22 days? Six hours? Six ah, hours of me? No lady it's Karen. been that long. She. Yes. I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some indiscreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamon is said to pass through that I miss my birthday? corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. 
I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence. Two years, six and months, and three days and eleven hours. She. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. So what are we doing now? What bladed follow breath there? Okay. Is it up this way? Yes it is. Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Fly. Not those little wings of y'all. Not happening. Goodbye. 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 Good friend. Goodbye. Hi, birdies. Can we join you for some grazing in the sand? On the sand, I mean. Jump, Ambrosia. Fly. Grazing in the sand. What, what is it to graze? Um, sand. What else? Sand. Grazing sand. What do you mean, my teeth? We've got company. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. 
All right. Let's get it back to Delamil. How? Is it gonna be all in our pocket? I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Why? Your then? mom. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. Master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the outer eye. Have I tried using the Berserker ring? The um, I don't think I have it. It is used but... exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swords. It changes your dodge so that if you dodge an attack, you can no use a freebie. A single strike. Three seconds of the red instead of the position counter. Oh. Perfection, but none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Wet stones, rather. Could have it from the whole doing them, ranging from the coarse we'll to the check. fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Wyvern, it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. Uncle Byron. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Huh. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Yeah, I'm, surprised. I'm supposed to find Isabel. Are you? No. Again, are you? Any more trouble and you'll be barred for life. However deep. What Isabel? I don't remember who Isabel is. Oh, 
Oh, this lady. The, um... The lady. The dame. Was it? No. Did you hear? The gates to hell. I want to see you. Well, what can I do without sweet water and all your talk? Milady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. We're behind on payment, that's all. Nothing, nothing much. Oh, my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally be warming to me. Tell Otto he That's can keep luck, his Isabel. Balls. Clive has you. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing. Nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Long ago, yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy. And blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened. Whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit. Given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. This time the last of the uh, side quests, right? 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 No more side quests after this, right? <laughs> Does that thing Tomes help to build? Mid told me she was building a ship. Goat. Still alive, I, I see. I love the side quests give us so a little bit of extra ruby. lore like this. Hey, <sighs> yeah, let's go. It does. Uh, it's pretty cool. I tried my best. But she was just Especially that toggle as well, it. help him being a, she um, right back in my a face, frost wolf. And told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have Also, yeah, it's a lot of cycles for about 15 to 20 minutes, bruh. We're always stuck on side quest. Jesus. Okay, so I ha okay, I have this habit. I don't know where um, if I'm streaming, and if one of my favorite streamers are also streaming, I lurk, 
I say alert and then I drop like five subs and you're like, bye. Lady Karen. And I think I unintentionally started a level four hype train on, on her side, so the debt was repaid yay. <laughs> Montag, Welcome to the entire second half of my playthrough. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for It's something for it I like back. to do. Of course not. Hard one I like to support while I stream, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think it's actually doing that, but still. Like, Surely you wouldn't shun you know, the gratitude of a poor man who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed. Yeah, it's really fun where I'm just like, like it or not. It's real fun because I have a, I have her uh, muted, right? And right now she's in the blueberry uh, filter. So I was like, look. And it's just like saying, because I can I can slightly read how what she's saying. And because Winter thinks, well, look. And then, and then after a while, I dropped five. So she's like, what? I can kind of tell she's just, she's just full on scolding me for it. So, yeah. I love that girl. Love Stein being being the conductor for a hat train. Might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the I do enjoy so far. Yeah, I get gone for it. Twice as much. I should limit you from gifting me shit. Might be you even. You can only give me one thing. Fan content. For two months. Whose boot is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't mind, would you? Not at all. Well, Just I'm not sure in any. I can't really say how you should spend your business. money, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't spend a lot today. It was a snap. I mean, a few weeks ago, it was a stream day. I hear you ended up delivering all three stunts. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh,. Uh, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. What is it? I'm not really sure. Oh, I don't remember anymore. So I can't really keep up with when, you, when the thing is like, being bought and stuff. Ledges are square. Right away. Okay, let me check. I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, You're always setting snack too. Not always. To find a clean one. I knew so little Not about always. him. Not always. most people. Martha and the Dead. Replay. Replay. Memories of him. <sighs> the stream deck you got for me was literally two days ago. Said before he. <laughs> it never been a full week. It was literally two days ago. <laughs> he died. Twenty summers. Oh, mummy. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. Still, he and then to from from the Saturday four there. four days ago, so I guess yeah, I mean, nothing to do six days ago nights. was the we set up drinking island run till the morning bell dragged me back stickers. to my duties. Quit my post not long after that, on account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first known day, and there was no hiding his knack. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him, forget what I felt, and I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was at the same I'd rather it be weeks ago than a few days ago. Him. All I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him, who cried for me, when I had no tears left of my own. Him. Who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Okay, I can't refute that what you say. 
Mm. Did not. I have been waiting for a while. Still, I was, I was hoping it will go down in sale or some, something. Oh, is this a flashback? <gasps> he was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the Sid! lie shown. I miss you, Sid. But it can't have been easy. Why'd you have to die? Stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I saw and myself. Well, always, always thank you right for the gifts. Ready to catch the stubborn sod. If ever it's spoiling me too much. Even do that. Look, it's the chalice, the cum chalice. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't think that chalice will ever get out of my brain. Ignore me. Just the, the cum chalice. The old man. Leave that lot. I'll no, no. <laughs> This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Miss Sid so much. Me you, too. You grumpy old son. Can't believe we could only see him through pass. Through the pass. This note. About it. Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. Without you, I can't help. You should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. <laughs> but then, why would he? Him or anyone? Off. Come now, Clive. Give a man a little man, a bro, a bro man's hug. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. Ah, look at Toggle sitting there. Fuck you. I just shoved people in the right direction. And I barely seem to be able to do that. Anymore. Well, good thing he shoves people, not eat people. Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Ah, the cum chalice. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay <laughs> you back. It's just what a normal chalice. It's no longer a normal chalice. Shall never be a normal chalice. The goblet. The cum goblet. Har har. Not to say. Lit. 
Totally Look, I blame you. <laughs> no, just a normal goblet. No. I don't know. Why we'll forever I never be a thing. normal goblet. Now, time to put this prize he cracked the crystal in my room somewhere. Where shall it be? Where will it be? Ah, on the table. I come, goblet. Or her. No goblet. Hmm. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. I... Whetstone. Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> one hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah. No point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Ballastian steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right. I will. Caliber. Ooh, I'm gonna have a good sword. A sword in Lordy. Saint Fordian, do you? Hell yeah, let's go. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And okay, what was it? The Berserker Ring? What if I can change it from
To change the precision dodge animation and give a few seconds of limb break attack. Nice. Doki. Okay, so that's all of the side quest done here. Back to here. Main quest time. Alright. Let's go find the furniture maker. Come on, come on. Come on. Caravan stops next to the check. Are you the furniture maker? You allow to go over 19 minutes. Looking for something in particular. Ah, and we collared you too. Eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. And that would mean you'll have about an hour left to enjoy the bliss of not doing work. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! What about raw? Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Help you come with me to, to round up some children. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop me. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> Only thing you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Hey, swing your super sword at you. That lady asked you to taste her peaches. She did. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. She doesn't have an ass though. <laughs> Surely a PG stream. Nah, never a PG stream. Do you have a moment? What do you want? Just see well, the clip where I heard that who's NBC. Who's asking children like you to pick pockets? I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? 
Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Eat my shorts. Don't stop what I was doing and ran back. Hey, yo! You said what now? Jug of snake spit for the rug. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Come on, come on! Peaches and pears. That kid's niche so far, right? Anything this way. What do you think, girl? We need treasure chest this way. <laughs> There's nothing here where this appointment. Can I just. No, I can't. This view is too pretty. Too darn pretty. Now, you know what? If this area was a tourist spot, you bet tourists would probably jump off the cliff and be like, Wee! Bombs away! And just jump down from a die or some shit. Or go down through that, that little waterway down there. Waterfall down there. I would jump, provided there are no, sh like, predatory, um... Oh, okay, is that fishing? Imagine they're having sharks in like a little small area. I would jump, sure. Oh, there was a chest. Water for hire. That's that man. But if it, it resulted in camp. death and stuff, I don't think I would it's jump nearby. off the cliffs here. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we rubbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah, wish we hadn't handed over the pass though. We could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunza, where are you going? So that was Hunza, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Time to babysit and whoop one kid ass. He can't have gone far. No need to find him <laughs> before his employers do. The dude really, homie really said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take the fall? I'm out. They're just really geed up, huh? Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Could he be hiding? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. Cornered. Well, you drove yourself in the corner. Right, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. 
I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carstones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. And then if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the Carstones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Stones? No, no need to find out, we can just lure them. Cowards. You will not force another child oh, to not. do your bidding. Wait, we're not. Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? What an introduction. Hi, we just slashes the sword down. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Botlad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate. Stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. So the plan is to back barge and I make Bok the front safe door. Place again. All right then. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't they won't know if they're dead. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. To kick ass that then.
Maybe with lovely fillers I can um, throw into the cyclone. That's for one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. Don't look suspicious at all, right? Just hanging around, probably having a little bro talk. Oh, look, more of ya. Hello there. Course. Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. The cat is always in the open. Natural born ne'er do wells, especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> it will be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. I'm ready oh, whenever I'm ready. to throw in cyclones. Fuck! Hey, friends. That guard from Bockland. Kill him! Kill them all! Too fun to do. Pretty cool, that is cool. Need fear. 
I told you it's cool. It is indeed cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Alarm just went off. Must it be waking up now? <laughs> but you've been up for the past three... four hours! Almost five! Oh, yeah. I'm totally not bothered to walk all the way back. I wonder whose fault that is. Hey, not my fault I wanted to stream at 3 p.m. today. Of course, I thought your voice is mine. <laughs> You just had to wake up a bit too early. Ah, Clyde. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goots has passed. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sit. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything. Time to make some needed. coffee and have a snack Be before I go for a No problem. Or it's a pee and then check your phone and mention your stream. Look, the you could have ignored my, my comment and just go back to sleep. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? <laughs> Ignore my comment, <laughs> never. <laughs> I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Hmm, 
interesting. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? I don't have that we'll much. Try the caravan. I don't have nine million gil. Let's get this back to goods and then it's on to the dominion <gasps> oh my god so this is what you meant by more more side quests this this area i mean Now I just need to see you about coin. getting the work. Oh, I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple Anything enough. Anything for Gil? So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Horrible time here, let me pet you, my boy. <laughs> Hurry, man. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from Sambrek. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route at the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd sorrow flam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? 
He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Bocklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city, and I require a rugged companion. Lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful! Then come! We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis Road, and from there, onward to discovery. Quickly, there is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Peaches and pears. Come on, come on. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. Can you give me some of those meat? You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Come and taste my peaches! Remember when half the... The Empire's your enemy, not us. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you've found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it? The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. He must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Look at all of them trying to cut the work and just go for a drink. A cup of that wine. I mean, I want, like, I want a drink too. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Jug of snake spit for the, the road. good thing about using a PNG on, is that on. you'll never know when I yawn. Out of my sight, wretch! Had 
I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Oldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Bocklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows. But it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. More kids of sushi for me to nom? No, Morgana. No. No, 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 no. Bad. Not for you to eat. No, 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 no. How to catch and put a glass container? No, no, I do not belong in a glass container. Oh, what is this lady? I hear the brothers found it with a victim. Can you believe it? I believe it. All right. You can't do that. That's mean. That's the same as putting replay in a jar. Talking no sushi, Professor Amaterasu. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Amaterasu right will here. be interested in research. Now, now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I. How am I supposed to know? Use your eyes. Down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? All right, bitch. Ah, of course. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Alright, so there's in here, you go. Have some breeze to cool off. Indeed, indeed. Maybe once they cool off, they won't bother our client. Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, 
Feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them, with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt, but merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. Do we now? He's passionate. I'll give him that. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Like, I'm a soldier, don't I dig a ruin, right? Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here. Ancient sword. I think we found our thieves. So who are keeping the jar? Uh, replay. They don't look happy to see me. For coffee and breakfast. Welcome back, replay. <laughs> Stop replay in into a jar and fart into it before saying during the jar. Oh my god, my god. Uh, and the excellent timing for you to come back to this. Amazing. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Stop. 
Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the Thebes. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. Let's go press this. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. All I do was make ice latte and food and come back to this yeah, bullshit. Well, but okay, we've played there there. Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole the food without starvation. I've never been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them? And earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Bokalad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and... Don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Dang, I was hoping to kill some of them. <laughs> I don't know what they sound like. <laughs> Alright, onwards to the next area. So I guess kind of similar to what I had for lunch, except no cheese and sausage. It was more spring onions and diced spam. It's like they were hawking ready to spit now, <laughs> right? Goblins! Alright then. Who's first? Those eggs seem way better than mine at the moment. I just need to get a little fast. I mean, time for completing question breakfast. Hey, I mean, scrambled eggs are nice. No matter what you pair it with. I got distracted and misheard it as teeth and sausage. Teeth and sausage? Oh my god. Replay, why are you eating teeth and sausage? to get yourself killed oh that would not do that would not do at all not when such majesty stretches out before us you need a calcium oh Behold, god the so final milking. sin in all its glory as moss tells us a battle was fought here in ancient times 
a battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. 30 Onward. minutes before I like for five awaits. hours worth, then there. I take my text my boss. Can't get to the winter streaming. Like, Who the fuck is winter? Well. I'm glad you asked. Uh, his is, is the link. Be sure to have the entire star picture in your phone. So, nah. I love the Berserker ring so much. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know what the Berserker would, would have done. I probably just kept the one that had uh, the gorge. Increase attack. Still in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. One day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. 
In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Life is so done with him. <laughs> the cavalier are to babysit this man child. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> Pat's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Everything done. Okay, on with the story. Let me carry your goods. I will assume there's no more side quests for the time being until further more into the main quest. Main come story. On, Jug of snake spit for the road. Juicy pears. Make your snack. What I really want to be is. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, P or two. So should you, Hunter. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. Chocobo shit out of the stables. They're scooping up poop. From the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it then. And Goots. I'm sorry for stealing your part. Work is about to start yeah, when it's going right. to get to the good I've part. Got it back now. It's uh, out there. All's well, you wash the bun. Well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? I know you're going to be lurking. <laughs> All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. Not mercenaries. <laughs> You remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. What are the chances that you're gonna fuck it up? With you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. There's a Bet square with a big 
the bell tower right What's in the middle of on? town. If you get lost or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. I'm too predictable for my own good. Yeah. Yes, you are. Because I know you would rather watch my stream than go to work. What if you deny that thing? <laughs> Feet of the Imperial Court. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sambrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. It could be Annabelle. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. Maybe you some your PTO? The beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in Joshua. my fight. Joshua! I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. I hope she dies a cruel death. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler.
He's talking a lot of shit for someone who's in mega flare range, right? There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. This is my decree. Music. Their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son shall be put to death, and the empire restored. Oof, let's go in. Fuck yeah, go Dion, hell yeah! Kill that! Not good name, bitch. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Please stall it until last minute because it's like 11 minutes until I to start work and two minutes before I have to log in. It might oh, be just a distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. Not what I'd rather be here. <laughs> hey, at least you had about like what three, four hours of watching me before you go work. What is it, boy? What's happening? Fire? Oh shit, what's happening? Like five hours? Yeah. I'm in for a treat. What's happening? Okay. If you say so. I don't know. 
Toggle. Oh my god, Torkel can jump that high? This way. Yeah. Roof running, let's go. The city's on fire. I'm sure Goose is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? <sighs> oh, fuck. That's the way up here. Whoops. I'll try and jump from the roof. Those were Imperial Dragoons. Are we gonna have a brotherly reunion? What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. He's all right. Do that. Identify yourself. We have to. Oh, no. no. Welcome in, Raiders. Oh, my God. Welcome in, Jono. Welcome in, Livia. Welcome, welcome. Ah, spoilers. Probably spoilers. But how was Oling up? How was stream? How was stream? Welcome in, guys. My name is Winter Solari. I play a lot of variety games of JRPG, a lot of open world games. Stream was good. I'm glad stream was good. But yeah, I'm probably very spoilers in. <laughs> but yeah, we will be doing a lot of side quests earlier. And a bounty hunt until I got like my ass kicked. Stream was good until you started playing only up. Why? <laughs> Livia, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, um my Webcam is broken, so I am a PNG for the time being because I definitely didn't go out. So you kept falling, so you kept falling. So I guess. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, if you need to do like after stream stuff and like rest, go ahead, do it. But yeah, I probably went to a webcam. It it just broke, I guess. It stopped working. It stopped working and it wouldn't like uh capture my my face and stuff, so I couldn't really move my model around. So right now I'm on looking around on Amazon for cheap webcams. Around below fifty bucks, I guess. But I'm just on the hunt for webcams. I found a few. I found a few. That's probably like around. There's Amazon Prime Day sales. I don't have Prime. I don't do Prime. I'm too poor for Prime. Someone to borrow the person's. Crime or was it crime? 
maybe the what I do is like I go for Prime for 30 days and then I unsubscribe. <laughs> That's what I do. I do the 30 day trial thing and then I unsubscribe. That's how cheap I am. <laughs> Like, yeah, if this is spoilers for you, I guess it's time for you to see you off. Get yourself out of here. It's over. Have you ever met him? It's gonna go because of spoilers. Hope you have an amazing time gaming. I shall. Hopefully, I don't die. But yes, goodbye and good night, Jono. Thank you again for raiding and bringing your community over. I'm so. You and. Oh, your Lance, uh huh? Oh, shit. Is that a tree? That did work. Yeah, do this to me. Where did I come from? This way? Yeah, I came from this way. The clock keeps but still be here as much as I can. No worries, replay. Don't suffer too much. Whee! Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. It's crap time! Can't go over there, eh? Ah, a 
goods left. Whee! Fly like the wind. Hello, Where name did you come from? From the lift, the good lift. Oh, that way. Do we have a chest to open? Damn it. We'll have to find a way around. Almost at the gut tower. Stop! In the name of his high! Oh, that good. We're coming. 
coming. I didn't dodge that properly. Not a single shit that's happening in, in this whirlwind of the cyclone. slowly okay I'm going the correct way You should play the Spider-Man games replay, it's real good. A hundred percent recommend. Enemies on the ramparts! Kill them! Yeah. At the first there was some point, yeah, you should. Boss fight we have here. I at least want to know the story behind the first Spider Man and Miles Morales before the second one comes out. Hey, okay. Do we? What are we fighting? Can you see him anywhere? <laughs> Ah, of course, it's a fucking dragon, like... Wait, boss? Of course it has to be a flying... 
monster. It must be one of the dragoons' pets. Rock. Oh, yeah, ice hiker. Here. Oh. I think it has something in store for us. Get ready to move. Too slow. Oh, play. Do that after this.
go. Thank you for the stretch and hydration. There you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh of course, it's not that. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? The hell is it doing up there? And they're like, what idiots? Bahamut, right? Your Highness, don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. I guess they were. I guess he was the Forgive protector. Me, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! So they probably assume he was there to be to save him. Nah, that's very true. Oh, is he trying to destroy the mother crystal? So, uh, what do we do now, then? We destroy the heart. But, but he might come back! As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A Navy slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, Goot.
Hmm. Gets as much of a scary cat he is. At least said, I ain't leaving the homies behind. With a save and then go bathroom and I'll be right back. Be back in a moment. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, one more time. No bonk? It's okay, I won't bonk you. Just let me get my stuff out. Welcome to Goots's Toll. <laughs> Thank you. Just checked and I have 28 hours of PTO available. What's PTO? What does it stand for? Oops. Okay, time off. Oh, yeah. But when it comes to like remembering. So what else you don't need? Abbreviated things, words, I won't remember it. I think I counted that right. How else you don't need? All done then. Hmm. 
It's just time I can take off work and still be paid that day. Oh, you're not thinking of rede of <laughs> taking the time off, are you? It's all done then, no. So I could technically request three days off and still get paid the full eight hours of those days. How to laze around, basically. How to be lazy. You be brave now, boy. Aww. I mean, maybe. It's not a maybe, it's a definitely for you. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. At once. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. I've only used like one day of PTO since I started this job though, so I feel like I abuse it. Cool. Imagine me abusing it so much they're like, no. You cannot take any more time off. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Feel what? My heartbeat? Just what we need. Another oh, flood. Good. It's already turned them. There's no reason to hold back. Come to my party, friend. Come, come. Thunder's so good. So it is that down that. Why not just jump to our death? Let's try. 
need to climb up. That's better. Oh, the breath of lightning. Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive, he can't hear you. Joshua! They're heading for the heart. And that way we shall go. Then so should we. Away with you! This part just gets more and more and more hype as you go. Oh hell yeah, let's go. Hype is the way.
fucking old corner. Exactly, we don't have time for you. Man, the music's just too good. Are those the council chambers? How are they still standing? I don't know. Oh. Blade. Now, what's going to spawn before us? He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. Kind of cheating to have your own it drone. Looks like somebody to someone is getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. <laughs> Neither do I. Ow, what the hell? <laughs> Necrophobe. <laughs> Alright.
Oh, my hand hurt. My hand, my fingers, just my thumb, the timing of square. These beasts, they're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. We get to just hard. And now the real hype begins. Oh, looking forward to that. No drops or anything. That's kind of disappointing. That's better. Quiet. There's someone up there. We can say good, good. Bitch. My darling. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! You have no right. Answer him. We took you in, savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Right, bitch. 
honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. What? It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land. Blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix! Oh, she's mad. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. Was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Oof. Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive? When the only Joshua's one not dead, bitch. For died. Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! <gasps> oh no, not Joshua! No, Joshua cannot die! Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! <laughs> I am a shield of Rosaria. Come on, Clive. Time and to use a free. Time to become a free. What are you. Great. Let's fucking go. Ifrit. Clive. Joshua. Clive. Getting manhandled, beast handled. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, 
most intense boss battle we've ever seen in our life. We already looked intense already. Are we gonna fight together? aiming apparently Everybody aiming at together. Oh, 
because of a fireball, how dare. Someone Bahamut, come to his senses. Okay, that's what you're best school. Okay, we can come a hammer back. I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure we dodged that. This is so epic, my oh god. I'm shit in air fights though. Where's my aim at? Oh shit. Man, I hate air fights. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. Alright. 
My brain can't do two, three things at once. Too much belief in me replay. Oh my god, my hands are getting sweaty. Holding my breath every single time, but it's cheating. Come on, Clive, stop! Wake up! Your brother, your, your younger brother's being destroyed. Back to the rescue! Wrong button.
Basting in the moonlight. I am behind you. If you're sure. It's too good. Get your ass back down here. What is what the blue dragon at? Oh. I walked into that one there. Thank you, brother. Boss fight is just your kiss. Now, Joshua! Come on, throw your cinematic punch. Slow the third master button, god fucking damn it. Oh, oh. The hands, the fingers. Good job, thank you. Finally, my wish has come true for the brothers to fight together. Oh gosh. That was intense. That was a tons hole my mind. Come on, Dion, come to your senses. What now? Destroy the mother crystal. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Phase three? Oh my god. What are you doing? What? 
what's happening? Are we taking the f Are we becoming one? Are we like... Holy shit! You grew hair, freak! Hey, we become new boobs! We grew some hair, we can do it, we grew a hair and wings, let's go. Oh, that's so cool. Embodying, um, embodying Ifrit Risen. In addition to fire, wildfire has a light speed, which is similar to a uh, phoenix shift. Pressing X. How can we hope to match such power? By trusting in our own. Oh my god, uh, this fight is too amazing! Oh my, are they landmines? Air mines? Air bombs? Oh shit. Yeesh. That was dangerous.
but I think it is like ow. Oh, why did I walk into there like an idiot? away from it. One last surprise too? Oh my god. How more amazing can this game be? Good spot to uh, screenshot too, but now my fingers are slow. I 
only smashing all night tonight. Oh, so bright. Amazing boss fight! Oh my god, that was so cool! Oh my god! Like the entire time I was fighting, the mouth was like open. We must destroy it. Pretty. I remember you're earning a bit over half double the game. Only a bit? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This game is too, too good. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Bitch, man, I will. Oh, I my God. that I would see this day. I knew it, Ultima. Bitch got what she deserved. Oh no, is Dion gonna die? The mother crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. Guys. 
I owe him a debt. Fine. Yeah, leave that bitch there. Oh, oh, what's happening? Ah, uh, of course. I forgot about that. Your power's not mine. Time for annoying part. Help, not though. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Daddy man, go! Your Radiance. And I want you to find out move by the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, father. Save me? Creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Right? The kid is creepy AF.
poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. Was this kid, kid and acting now all along? Approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. It's a long story. Leave her, Joshua. Who cares about her? You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. You were too far for giving Joshua. Okay. Yeah, I hate that she got the easy way out. Mother. Joshua doesn't deserve this. Dean as well. He does. He does deserve much more worse of a death. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Oh god, this creepy fuck. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you what? shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. Nothing from bread. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax, your majesty. Wait. Don't you want to play? Benedicta? It's been a long you time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. It's like, when do I need to actually go 
<laughs> Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. Well, this is sort of so romance. Fragile worlds with strands of There's a very judge, but what the fuck, Panabu? The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned Why are you naked, bright. though? Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect. Of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you find a new thoughts and sever every one to destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We Indeed. shall unite with new thoughts and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. If 16 was horror, this would be the reason why. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Oh. Bread. The combo of his emotionless face and voice is creepy. Holy. Ultimate is creepy AF. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all.
power of light. Tony won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. Breast impulse. What's this thing? Giga flare. Honestly, I can grab this and then save. Grab more and then master it, and then yeet it on top of the power drive. I guess. And we have lightning and like giga flare. I might as well see what Otto has to say. See the pair that got me. What's that for, you, dear? Does it last you a good while? That it? Fine. Trouble with your gear or fraying about us, guys? Unless that is. It's a dangerous world out there. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful you got that much. Come again. Oh, don't. Still alive, are you? Go on, then. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. <gasps> Last elixir upon KO Otome restores, restores all HP. Builds Limit Gorge, increase attack power by 10%, 10%, 60%. You'll not find a better price than that. Oh, interesting. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. Is that all? Me you saw that. The end of the world is near. Oh, there's a lot more.
S rank, S rank. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms out Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Good news, Bahamut Palace, right? We are now the light. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My country is stronger <laughs> than you yep. think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. 
But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Two slices of bread, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I, got, I have enough. I ate enough. You can use a lot of words to, sta uh, to say very little. Long short story, no crystals for of magic or aid the flood. Ever causing times of apathy. I just said world gods or shit fam right oh god oh right I should say how we talking to the tone's good. True, true, Sid did say that. It will be worse before things get better. Is a storm coming, Sid? Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? But Ultima was one of the gods responsible. Well... He has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas... I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others have to say. The world's ending. We're all gonna die. Alright, what do you have to sing about, huh? The battle cries of dread worm die First break, nice. Let's go. Now stretch Sorry. your back. We stretch every stretch Only out. One. I just cracked. That'll be a first. It would. Actually, stretch everybody. Three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache at her gates and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside Lunch the break is a one now three hours. You'll survive. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains. Fucking pause. The 
the curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Why not? Uh, I don't know. Would you survive? I'm pretty sure you would survive. Clive! Anything catch your eye? First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts from the front. I saw it with my own eyes. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashyyyk, but... different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashyyyk, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. I am tempted. Thank you for the hydration. Anyhow, I am quite tempted to order some booty, but I don't know. I think I should save my money. Yo, this guy looks so purple. Holy shit, hold on. I need, I need to see this. Oh, the sky looks like purple. It's pretty. It was all they could do to escape. They just left the bodies there in the flood. No, maybe. Maybe. Thing. It took off in its own right. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! It's okay, I am what the reinforcement. Would I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charge. Or is it Grandma that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives! Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And 
sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I would like you to consider my needs. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Mm. I'll decide in an hour. We'll talk to the survivors. Without what dogs in the way. I love that bit of jealousy from Jill, right? She's like, I'm, I'm here too, you know? Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. I lost my 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 my, 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 my new keychain. I haven't actually opened the stuff that I got. Howdy, hello Norax. How are you, Norax? That thing, it took off the captain's head before we could even draw his steel. Yeah, because we have. You hear me? Fuck this. I just have slow reflex. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. We shall indeed, and now we should. No, we can just walk it. Grab some extra EXP on the way. Do you have a plan? I like how the soldier's like, like our captain lost his head because he never stopped to use it. Like, whoa. Oh. Everything's on the ground. As much as the world is kind of dying, oh, okay. The sky is pretty in purple. Chocobooks, but not entirely chocobooks.
Look. I see them. With me. Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, Malady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. 
<laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. How did you know? How did you know I was getting tired? How did you know? Because uh -huh. I always get super quiet when I'm tired? Damn. So you know. <laughs> I mean, I think I should actually be getting to bed. Because I do have an appointment at two o'clock. And maybe a dummy by pay attention. That you do. Anyways, thanks for coming by, everybody. Seventy five percent done, true. Yeah, let me turn off my thing. Open silence. No, the no, the no. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Seven hours. Eight hours, I mean. It's been a long night. It's been a long day. Following live. Get some rest. Yes, I shall get some rest. So long? Yeah, like eight. Eight hours. I can't believe we've been eight hours. Uh, uh. And now I'm gonna do this. Let's show YouTube. Anyways guys, thanks for coming by for tonight. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. And thank you to DJ Azure and Jono John for the raid and to Livia for the follow. Thank you so much, thank you. Anyways, if you are a sub, copy and paste the first raid message. If you are not, copy and paste the second raid message. We're gonna go raid. Damn it, I was supposed to say we would go raid Carver, but then she's on a short break. 
get this all, let's see if we can have a shot. Oh well, I'll still continue to raid Karma. Sorry about looking for anybody else. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy 16. Maybe later in like 18 hours if I'm if I'm not too tired. If not, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye bye. I'll see you next time.